Welcome to the final session of day 12 of the 2023 Australian Open, proudly brought to you by Apia, who are proud to support the event, volunteers and officials. Val Febo here with you. We've had a few rink changes and we've had a few green changes. We weren't sure what was quite going on, but we've come to the uh, we've come to the realization that we are going to be streaming men's singles quarterfinal action here at the at Club Helen's Vale. It's Aaron Wilson against Jacob Nelson in a match between two very, very, very talented bowlers. Disco, of course, we know what he's done. Jacob is in the pathways. Jackaroo squad, he's a superstar and looking forward to seeing what he can do right here at Helen's Vale. Joining me, Val Febo, is Ben Crickstolitis. Ben, great to have your company, mate. Yeah, glad to be back here again at, at Helen's Vale on this, uh, on this uh, beautiful green number one. Uh, we've watched Disco over the last couple of days play some remarkable bowls and he's just finished up in a in a fours game across the other side. I don't actually know the result of they that. Lost. They lost. They lost. Nick go. Cahill, uh, his team, got the job done. Uh, it would be interesting to see if he's um, if that's playing on his mind at all. But uh, Jacob Nelson's a fantastic bowler and from Queensland, a local lad. So we'll, we're sure to have a good contest here. Certainly are. So been a great day of bowls action. Of course... Some of the finals are set. Women's singles, that's done and dusted. Women's pairs, also done and dusted. Alan Faulkner and Carmen Anderson, they are through. They'll take on Genevieve Delves and Natasha Van Eldick on Friday morning's final. The men's singles, another blue ribbon event that everybody wants to win if you're in that discipline. And Disco against Jacob Nelson. Jacob, of course, a uh, silver and a bronze at the multi-nations earlier on this year. Yeah, an amazing bowler. He's using those uh, arrows. I'm not 100% sure what uh, what type they are, but the, the tri-colours. And Disco with his Henselite XGs. Just the realisation we didn't move the table back here, so we're going to be bathed in sunlight <laughs> for a short we'll Probably have to do it mid, mid broadcast, <laughs> but we'll see how we go. Get a bit of a face tan. A strong start from these lads. Oh, Disco playing with some intent early, aiming at a bare jack. Oh, and he's clipped his own bowl at the back there. Let's see what colour paddle gets held up. Yellow for Jacob and blue for Disco. No, no indication at this point. We'll see what Jacob's bowl does. I suggest he's holding at least one at the front there. We'll see what go And uh, Disco just rolled his out a little bit to take any, any doubt out of it. Imperative that Jacob gets a good start here because when Disco front runs... He's so hard to come back against, and we saw that in the Commonwealth Games final last year. Come down in the backhand. Giving himself enough room to turn in. He's done it quite well. So, That's first the end. That is a massive start. For Jacob Nelson, who takes a 3-0 lead over Aaron Wilson in this race to 21. Of course, no time limit. Looking forward to this contest. As other... We've got some women's fours action going on at the moment. Team skipped by Kate Argent-Bowden and Alan Ryan. A couple of rinks away. Aaron Sheriff next door. That is said to be a good contest. Yeah, star power once again all up and down the rink. Uh, the team there led by Cass Millerick. And I can't see who her opponent is there. Uh, That's it's Cass Millerick. Oh, it's um, led by Bolivia, sorry. Yep, so Cass against her sister. Oh, no, playing with her sister, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yep, so it's the Millericks, Kira Burke and Olivia Cartwright. Oh, sorry, Lara Butler. Sorry. Hold on. <laughs> I'm just trying to get this right. No, Jesse Cattell. There we go. Against Olivia Cartwright, Lara Butler. 
Caitlin Inch and Chloe Stewart. There we go. Got it right in the end. Tina, this isn't the final. This is the quarterfinal. Semis will be tomorrow morning. Good start, good first pair of bowls by uh, Disco and Jacob, and this one just going to pull in a little short by the looks of it. On that hand, it covers that hand, forcing probably forced Disco on the other way. And, uh, coming down there beautifully on that hand again. Let's go at the right moment. And, oh, unlucky not to promote himself. Uh, still one yellow, so Jacob's still holding there on the, on the wing bowl. Here comes Jacob. He's changed hands over. He's got that hand blocked so he can come down. Correction, sorry. He's come down that side where he had the, the one short bowl. He's crossing a bit here. Oh, it's going to finish beautifully against Aaron Rolls him out and makes two. What a fantastic ball. This goes stalking up and down the rink. The end of the rink, seeing what's on offer. And characteristically standing on the mat and immediately delivering his ball. No, no time wasted. Aaron Wilson is in the area. He'll crash in, but Jacob Nelson's jack or bat, sorry, bolt follows the jack, and the young Queenslander will look to land a body blow ahead of State of Origin tonight. So Sharon, uh, the scheduled games we've we've had a massive scheduling change here due to players in multiple events so look unfortunately that was what we were due to be streaming what we posted last night um, but unfortunately that has changed during the day and we, we tried to reiterate that as much as we could obviously we know you can't be watching 100% of the time it's very difficult to do but um, yeah unfortunately we have had, have had to change um, and this match has been brought over to this rink yeah Paul Holschke's been here uh, working hard trying to get those Scheduling difficulties sorted out, and I think they've managed to do it as uh, Jacob runs around the back there beautifully for a second shot. Robert Murray asking, wondered if Aaron Wilson's remembered to pack his mask. I think that's a reference to the robber. The burglary yesterday. <laughs> the burglary yesterday. Um, yeah. No, he was, he was in fine point. form with, uh, with Ben Twist yesterday. There's another Fours game going on next to Aaron Sheriff and James Rintoul. That's... Uh, a nice little huddle in the middle there with Alan Chrissy, or two Alans, Alan Faulkner there as well, and Brianna Smith. And then Sophie Kersman, Kate Argent Bowden, Grace Maloney, and Rebecca Lord. With a camaraderie there between that team of Bree, Chrissy, Alan, and Alan. And Sharon, nope, not a problem. <laughs> Apologies to my internet no. provider. <laughs> So a good couple of ends here from uh, from Jacob. Has been 5-0. It's a um, dangerous start for Disco. Really dangerous start. We were wondering whether we would have an Aaron Sheriff, Aaron Wilson final in men's singles, pairs and fours. Well, that cannot happen now. Disco out of the fours. This team losing to that skipped by Nick Cahill. Earlier, Aaron Sheriff has... Uh, has emerged victorious, so he's still in all three events. He's come immediately out of that that sadly losing fours combination into this game, and I mentioned before, I really do wonder if that'll play in his head a little bit. He's yeah. played a lot of games up at uh, Broadbeach as well, so this is a, a new green. Yeah, but Disco's one that you just know he's going to adapt. 
And he's disco, yep, exactly. Uh, Jacob Nelson, he is a very handy bowler and we constantly see him in the top five of the national rankings updates. Very, very good bowler himself and we know why he's in the high-performance setup. Campbell, not happy with that one, but uh, really nice style, nearly really consistent form as he delivers. He thinks he's run this one narrow. Waving it across, and he has. He's right. He was he was upset as soon as that left his uh, as soon as that left his hand. Bit of a state state of origin uh, pre match, I guess. Mm. Must be one of the only people in this state who doesn't really care that much. Oh, I shouldn't admit that, should no, I? No, no, you'll be in trouble now around oh, here. But, uh, I'm watching my back. Uh, my state of origin is Western Australia and yours is Victoria, so I kind of understand. So Jacob Nelson looking to <coughs> get that one in the count. But no, it's, uh, it should be a great contest tonight between New South Wales and Queensland. First game was in Adelaide. Queensland getting the job done. Just going drifting underneath. They're probably favouring one to... No, well, two to Jacob at the moment. I think the Jacob Indicated. bowls are holding it, yeah. Yeah, they are. So an opportunity here for Jacob Nelson to really assert his authority on this matchup. Because he is in a rich vein of form. This is a 21-up game, of course. No time limit. No. First men's singles match that won't have a time limit, Ben. Yeah. Uh, and that's that's what we like to see. These guys will take their time and make a really good effort of it. Lee Henderson saying, go Ryan Tayton next door. Yep. Uh, yeah, that, we'll keep you updated on that. Ryan well, Tayton and Aaron Sheriff. He took out Corey Wedlock, Ryan Tayton. <coughs> so, no slouch. Very, very good player from Deer Park. Simon, I'm a Richmond fan, but probably if I did have to align myself to somebody in state of origin, I've always probably gone for the Queenslanders, mainly because of Billy Slater, Cooper Cronk and Cameron Smith, They're obviously massive in Melbourne. You've named uh, more players than I could, but uh, I... Uh... <laughs> So once I left Western Australia, Queensland's the first place I lived, so I guess uh, you could almost count me as a Queensland fan, but most of my friends and compatriots in New South Wales will not be happy to hear me say that. Disco, Disco with weight. Heavy. Oh. Just going underneath. So Sharon will indicate the score, but I think this is going to be a two, and this is a red-hot start from the young Queenslander, 7-0. He has stormed out of the gates. Absolutely flying here at the moment, Jacob Nelson, drawing beautifully, forcing uh, Disco to play the heavy shots and uh, try to disturb the head. Good shot there by Jacob, just dropping in behind Jack. Sorry about the pause there. We just stood to, to lift the table back. Yep. So, Kim, the uh, Trish Dolan and Wendy Wilson semi-final has already been played. So, as I said, there were some scheduling changes. Uh, we gave you updates during the last match. Of course, you probably weren't, you might not have been able to tune in. Who knows? But um, they lost to Ellen Faulkner and Carmen Anderson. 
And the other final and the other semi final was won by uh, Natasha Van Eldick and Genevieve Dulles. They overcame Dawn Heyman and Jamie Lee Warsnop. So the final will be on Friday morning between Jen and Tash against Ellen and Carmen. Uh, Simon Wallace, a pies man himself. There's something I can say about Bowls Australia, Simon, is it is full of Collingwood supporters. Oh, there's not as many as you'd think. Oh, Matt Kennedy? Yeah, but that just really replaced Neil. <laughs> he did. One he was CEO a for another. <laughs> Aaron Wilson coming through and just ricocheting the bowls. So a two at the moment. Yeah, drawing beautifully, Jacob. Absolutely spectacular so far. In the other semi final, Aaron Sheriff leading that 6 0, I believe. Over Ryan Tainton. Stephen Murray from South Coogee Bowling Club. Best grants man in the business. Good to see you there, mate. <coughs> Simon saying he does have his teeth. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> I don't believe you. Yeah. <laughs> So, what's what's this going on here? This is this is a pivotal end in this match because he needs to ensure that he gets the lead. Has it gone too far? Yes, got the rub. Yeah, still two to uh, to Jacob. Aaron Wilson just having a bit of the uh, a case of the nearly there's at the moment. He's nearly there the whole time, but Jacob just being a little bit more precise, and that can be the difference. So, Aaron Wilson just in a spot of bother at the moment. As Jacob Nelson really ensuring that he's got to work very, very hard. Disco and Sheriff's bowls overlap. We see them turn away now to their respective heads. And that one drops a bit short. Favouring two at the moment for the young Queenslander. Look, Disco probably needs this for his confidence, if nothing else. We know he's a well world-class player up against the uh, certainly the best players in the world, and he can adjust and he can do all the right things. But this mental game, he'll want to win in the end, just to take some of that pressure off. Jacob Nelson, his age. He's 24 years old. Aaron Wilson goes through. And this lead extends even more. Sharon is going to hold up two yellow paddles. And all of a sudden, Jacob Nelson has opened up a 5-0... Oh, sorry, a 9-0 buffer. Yeah, 9-0 lead. I was looking at another 5 on the screen there. Almost Ron Bergen did that. Yeah, Kim, and, and look, it could have definitely been that um, in terms of timing. But no, it, um, it has confused a lot of people and even, even we were a little bit baffled at, at where we needed to be or confused about where we needed to be. Some of the bowlers were as well. So it's not just you, don't you worry. But we've, uh, we've navigated it all and, of, of course, the events team are doing a wonderful job of putting it all together because there are scheduling conflicts with tournaments and players, so... All the bowlers are being really accommodating to try and allow the tournament to flow. And Ken, I'm picking this green at, at at least 17 seconds at the moment. It's really, really beautifully fast and slick. There's a there's a sheen off the grass, which is a, really indicates a, a glassy green. And especially on this end rink, where the players have been walking a fair bit and all week on this and packing it down, this will be the fastest rink. The two ends rinks here will be the fastest. Uh, Rinks in the whole place. Disco just shoots back. He's just rested on the ditch there. Etienne Van Royen. Good morning. Well, good day, gentlemen. Once again, multitasking is very important. Bowls taking top spot for now. Watching from Pretoria, South Africa. Great to have your company. 
Ben drops in some uh, some lollies here, some jelly babies. That's the they, I forgot I'd bought them bought them until the um, we moved the table. Oh, Jacob, great bowl there, fantastic sitting jack high. That's just amazing draw bowling. Disco really needing to get something on the board here. He's playing with intent. Big weight. Oh, my word. Yeah, as I said, in the case of the nearly there's at the moment for Disco, he was nearly there with that shot. Favourite Jesse to win the men's pairs. Oh, look, I'm not even going to pick because it's Disco and Twisty against Tease and Sheriff. Look at that ball. Again, Jacob, three balls with nothing of Jack. More weight, change of hand with his weight, Disco, and no. No good. So if I'm Jacob Nelson, I'm probably covering a little bit at the back here because Disco is going to go full ball at this again. And I dare say he's probably not going to miss a third time. Very aggressive disco and knows what he needs to do. Jacob Nelson closing in on a fourth. I don't see it. I think the heavy shots are... After missing two, he's now three down. I think the uh, heavy shots are risk. All Jacob has to do is get one in oh, the count. Or sit right in front. Yep. No, oh, that's, that's that's the best. Target. That's an all right spot to be. Because at least you'd think that one will probably stick around. And this goes lining up again. Surely he won't miss a third time and he's in the area. Let's see. He's not going to find the gap, is he? No, he's, he's cleared one. Just that last one out. And that's why... Jacob needed to put one there. So, well, this has been one of the hottest starts Look, I'm just that I've seen. 12 zip, Ben. Oh, look, I'm watching the body language of the, the two players now. Jacob looks focused <laughs> and determined, and Disco looks furious. This has been a phenomenal start from Jacob Nelson. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, unbelievable. I haven't, I, that's something I have not seen from Disco. He's usually either very happy or very focused. That's all I've ever seen. I've never seen that from Disco before. Nick Cahill comes and gives me a little massage. It was very nice of him. He's a good man, Nick Cahill, and he'd be very happy after progressing in the fours. How are we on that second rink? I can't see the score there. Oh. Aaron Sheriff, 7-0. So mm. <laughs> semi-finals are a combined 19-0 uh, at the moment. Disco and would be desperate to get himself in the count here. And... Katie, yeah, Aaron Sheriff up 7-zip at the moment. Oh, and nearly there again, nearly taking Jack. Jacob just beautifully, his weight's fantastic. He's sitting there in a, in a brilliant spot just next to the Jack, not giving uh, much of an opportunity for Aaron to run into anything. Now, Kathy Elms just asking the girls starting their quarterfinals, do you mean the fours? If so, they have. They're starting right now couple of ends in so far. So this is a um, this has been a red hot start from Jacob Nelson who has looked relaxed focused and in the zone. That is the Aaron Wilson we no better. Just good uh, correction. Di hasn't, hasn't got the shot. That's better. It's something for him. Just 
getting instructions from the ITO then. The volunteers here, of course, are all uh, looked after by Apia. I haven't got the uh, scripting quite right, but they're uh, always right. out here looking after us. They are. So, Jacob, again, on the prowl here, stalking his bowl. Just goes past, but he's got a very healthy set at the back there. I don't think he's too pleased, but... Yeah, I think he was hoping to draw a second one there, but being back uh, back behind, they're going to be very, very useful. Aaron Wilson. It's, it's something that nobody really saw coming, 12-0. We know that Jacob is a very handy bowler. Disco usually on the board by now. This is an amazing performance from the young Queenslander. Jacob comes in and can have an opportunity to put a second in here. Exactly right. With two back, that's exactly what he'd be looking at doing. Tony Collier, the men's pairs finalist, certainly tomorrow. Really good weight again. May just duck around. Oh, I reckon it. I reckon that has. But we'll see. I'm not sure. Mark having a really good look here. So what Sharon indicates. Don't know if she's too short. Yeah, one of the measure. I think she's what she said. Yeah. Aaron Sheriff nine zero ahead. So these two quarterfinals motoring along. Disco with big weight. What's he got? He's cleared. Is he cleared enough? Is he on the board? Or is Jacob Nelson still holding? They're going to come down and have a look. I think Jacob Nelson is still in control. Oh. The yellow paddle is in Sharon's hand. In her right hand, that's usually an indication. Yep. Disco hey. wants to measure it. As he should. This is important. Yeah, to slow the game down as well. Jesse, Gary Kelly is playing up here. He's still involved in the uh, in the men's fours, I believe. Part of last year's championship team with Wayne Rudiger, Nathan Pedersen and Carl Healy. Wayne Rudiger not here this year. But Gaz has certainly been around. And one to yellow. So that's the first single that he scored. He's gone three, two, 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 three here, Jacob Nelson. So this has been a sensational lightning start from a, the 24-year-old. What a turn up for the books. You wouldn't expect this, a 13-shot um, uh, disadvantage to or deficit to, to Aaron Wilson at any point, let alone at the very start of a singles quarterfinal. A lot of support for Jacob Nelson. And on the other ring, Aaron Sheriff is uh, up 9 0. Oh, Jacob, he's just. It's precision bowling there. His first bowl just hasn't gone wrong yet. Just going, trying his best to finesse a bowl. Just with all of the um, all the score queries, um, Locke has posted a link here at the bottom of the pinned comment. You can check out the live scores at the moment on bowlslink, results.bowlslink.com.au and all the bowls now app. And also the fours and the... Uh, they're all still going, so you can check them all. Done there is... 
could be a second shot there Not for sure we'll find Jake. out it's after after this Ben see what happens but the crowd is very good Sue and Sharon you're right this young man is certainly in control of his own destiny today as Disco comes around the back just so we may be seeing, seeing some more weight yep, one yellow indicated by the uh, marker there and I reckon we're going to be seeing uh, well, Aaron Sheriff I think has just notched up another two so he's up 11-0 the combined scores from these two quarterfinals at the moment 24-0 yep good maths I was having to think <laughs> about that for a sec that's why I do this and I'm not a mathematician that was Clive's domain there Ryan Newick saying he's two good fellas and look at the moment he has been in superb Nick and that probably does enough for two yeah, ITO having a good look there yep, yep. two it is Wow. A two here. Make it a 15-0 buffer. But Disco has two bowls to do anything about it. Running weight here from Aaron Wilson. See, that one-eyed stare as he watches his bowl head down the green. Got to be careful not to clean himself out here. Oh, my word. So he got his bowl, almost stayed, but then it... The spin. Look at disappointment on Aaron's face as, as that knocked his own bowl through. He knows he's in trouble. And let's just hope the frustration doesn't get to him. I'd like to see this this game going all the way. Nah, this deme the demeanour of Jacob Nelson right now is spectacular. The way that he's gone about his business, he just hasn't looked at who's on the other side of the the mat. Yep, not distracted. Laser-like focus. So he's going to go around the back now. <laughs> Karen McKay asking, did he walk under a ladder at lunch? It's a fair question. He's not getting much luck. He's just, as I said, a case of the nearly theirs. Having said that, what's he got here, Aaron Wilson? He's hoping it pulls up, I think. It's gone through, so... Sharon's got the paddles in her hand, ready to go. Disco trundles up and obliges. It's a two right now, 15-0. This is highly unexpected. But Jacob Nelson has been phenomenal. Yeah, the murmuring around the ground here is uh, we look at every... All the faces, they're just shocked faces everywhere. This, the, this end of the green completely packed with uh, Sheriff Ann Wilson on display and, and no one can believe what they're seeing at all. Radhika Prasad saying, Loving, love watching the Nelson brothers play. Go, Jacob, go. And look, that they are Kane and Jacob are sensational bowlers. We know that. We know their pedigree. But this is, this is be up there with one of his most sensational performances here. Nearly at the checkout. He's very close. And it's taken him seven ends to get there. He's averaging two an end here. And he gets one around the back. So Disco has a chance to take the ascendancy. Yeah, long end here. Aaron Sheriff, 11-0 up in his quarterfinal. He's got one close there. Claps of appreciation around the around the uh, around the grounds. Don't sound like Bronx cheers, although I've at the footy. That's what I'd be su wouldn't be surprised to hear at this point. Jacob down on the backhand, just looking to duck under Aaron here. 
He crashes into it and goes around, but the way that he's been bowling, he's going to find a way through. So, Clint Hodge, everyone is beatable on the day, it looks like. And look, that's exactly right. Anybody can beat anybody in this sport. And it is why our game is, is fantastic. You can beat anyone. Everyone's playing on the same rink and the same greens. There's no superhuman. Look, he hasn't lost yet. Clearly, we're only on. We've only had seven ends. But uh, no, he's got. Look, he's got plenty of time to come back. You've got to. You've got to be first past the post. There's not an end limit. Jacob Nelson. This was always going to be a dangerous game for Aaron Wilson. And that is exactly why Jacob Nelson puts in another one. It's the first time I've seen a, a break in Jacob's uh, demeanour. The focus, he's taking a breath there at the end, having a chat to uh, people at the back. And uh, Aaron Wilson wants it to hold. It's going to go around the back. Just didn't get his weight right. Two. Two here puts him into that checkout zone. Yeah, so far it's two so far is a bowl left for each player. And uh... yeah, really interesting. Max Kleinig saying going to be an interesting length change if he gets the mat. One hundred percent true. This is um. Yeah, it's uh. I, I, I'm, I'm uh, lost for words here at the moment. I, yeah. I can't believe this at all. But, um, and there's always, you know, these results happen all the time within sport as Jacob wants this to keep going. He's willing it on. He's willing it to increase weight, but it won't get there. Sharon will pop up those two markers again, I reckon. Jacob, not too happy with that, but he's holding two. Yeah, I think that's what I was thinking when I first saw that break, the first break I've seen in his focus and that and that laser-like focus in his demeanour. I thought maybe he's uh, he's, near, he's getting close to that 21, close to that checkout zone. He's got to be all calm his excitement down, get that adrenaline down a bit and remain focused. And those last shots are the hardest ones to get. This guy with weight. He's gone it's big. Close. He's knocked out one. But he won't be winning the end, that's for sure. So what will Sharon put up? We'll make sure of it. A wonderful ITOs. International Technical Officer, it stands for. Double. That Number is two. a two. Jacob Nelson is at the checkout. He, he is, and it's taken him eight ends to get there. The young Queenslander has put forth one of the more sensational displays. And look, it is not over yet. We know that. We know what Aaron Wilson can do. He won the Commonwealth Games final last year, 21-3. to But this has been something else. Oh, beautiful delivery once again. On the other rink, uh, Aaron Shaw for 11-2 now. Yep. So, Jacob Nelson again goes close. Oh, with a, a touch and carries it through just off the line. Brilliant. And this is the thing often, and, it, and it's in a lot of sports. When you're the underdog or when you're playing someone that has done so much on the international, international stage, and we see it so often, and I know I harp on a lot about tennis, but you see players against a Federer, Nadal, or Djokovic, and how many times they've been in those winning positions, but then they realise, oh, God, I've actually got to serve this, serve this out. And then you see those big players always come back and... The good thing is for Jacob is that he's played Disco on a few occasions before, so he'd know his game. He'd know what he has to do. He's just taken a few deep breaths. 
But Disco will have that belief. Disco knows that he's not out of this until that final shot is secured. And he won't give up. He's tenacious. He knows what it means to win. Jacob uh, putting it to him at the moment. Without a doubt. And there's the Aaron Wilson we know. Little touch as well. So now the question asked of Jacob Nelson. 17-0. In what seems to have been under half an hour. Feels quick. <coughs> Following this bowl down. He's played uh, with a little bit of weight. He can afford to. He's got a couple of bowls in there. Ooh, he knocks out hoping one of his own. own. Yeah, hoping for a bit of a ricochet there and didn't quite get it. Has one bowl to go. So Aaron Wilson will want to get a second here. He'll be desperate to get a second in here. Yeah, I remember saying at 5-0 that he needs to get one for, for his own confidence. He needs this just so he doesn't start getting really angry or, and lose any kind of focus that he may have had. <laughs> Bit of a smile from Jacob there as he walks up the green. He nearly tripped over Aaron Sheriff's bowl. Oh, well, they're utilising their grass. So... Jacob Nelson to continue. It looks like words getting around. There's a lot of people watching this. There are. Oh, he's gone to the back. He has. So Aaron Wilson, barring catastrophe, he will win his first end. And a little wry smile. Would he sit this bowl and get a four? Purposeful stride. That side eye that we have become so accustomed to. Aaron Wilson. That's it. He's just going to draw this. Lovely draw. He wants to push Jack back for a multiple, and he has. Yeah, Aaron Wilson is on the board and a little wave to the crowd. He knows how important that one is. He's got the crowd in fits. He knows how important that one is, and that's a three to kick off uh, his scoring in this contest. And he's still got a long way to go. Always the shame when you get that, that smile, that little wave, that may be just a, a release of uh, pressure that would, would have been built up inside him, and now he can, he's got a score and he can take control of the mat, yep. make it a bit shorter, which he has. He's the put the mat right up. Mat is straight up. So let's see. What Aaron Wilson can do. <laughs> Scott Rainbow, he avoids the nudie run. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's done a half nudie run a couple of times, shirt off and running around. He has. Was witness to one of those live. <laughs> the photos of him being pulled into the crowd are uh, hilarious. So let's see the reply now for Jacob Nelson. This was the important thing because we know these players can get on a run when they do eventually score and, and win an end. Aaron Wilson with the change of length. Puts one in pretty close. So pressure back on Jacob Nelson. Even with a 17-3 lead, we know that you got to score those last shots. Yeah, just, he, go just slightly crossing the head, getting in just short of Jack. And Jacob with some real precision still drifted back. Good home. Covers the team. Aaron Wilson looking to gain the ascendancy here. He's on the board. Was 17-0. But he will have the belief that he can come back and win this. Jacob Nelson, however, will have the belief that he can finish this off quick. And he'll want to finish it off quick. He's going to get that one around again. So Aaron Wilson can... 
pop a third in here. That's what I mentioned before about that that focus of Jacob. He's uh, that adrenaline can really lift and can just push you off your game a couple of percent. Meanwhile, Aaron's trying to lift to that standard. Jacob's got to, has dropped off. He's got to come back. That's a three for Aaron Wilson at the moment. Jacob with two to come. Is he giving this a little bit too much grass? Yeah. Well, he's got a good home at the back now. Yeah, there's a... Depending on what Aaron does here, and I assume he's going to come to the back and cover, there's a, a shot on there for Jacob to, to close this game out. Well, you're exactly right. And that's what he'll be thinking. Jacob Nelson will 100% be thinking of closing this one out. Yep. Aaron Wilson, he's just going to pop another one in here. So, so a choice now. Well, it makes it a little bit more difficult. Four at the moment for Aaron Wilson. Yeah, more than a little more difficult. That straight run line, the real heavy one's gone. It's gone big. He wanted the jack and he didn't get it. So Aaron Wilson scores another three. We have had one multiple scored so far in this game. 17 to 6 is the score. Sorry, one single. Sorry. That's what I meant. So Disco on the board with a couple of threes. But we've gone 3 2 2 2 3 1 2 2 3 3. It's been a remarkable contest. And what a turnaround in two ends. From a 17 0 to 17 6. We took, yeah, 17 down to 11 down is just. Uh, Shows the class. We knew we could do it. We knew we could come back. And he's so far there. But he's still a lot of, a lot to beat here with Jacob hitting 17 and in, uh, in that checkout zone. Game can be closed out very quickly. Matt right up for Disco. And he finds one around the back. So Jacob, we knew what he was going for in that last end. He wanted to kill that and get the jack out. And possibly go for three and get within one shot of victory. Alas, that wasn't to be. What do we think out there? What will the result be? Will Disco stage an almighty comeback? That's the good adjustment there from uh, from Jacob. He's just put one just ahead of Jack, about a foot away. Or will Disco or will uh, Jacob Nelson get the job done? Aaron Wilson has two at a very good home. Just for the first time, I think, in this game, I've, I've really looked, sat up and had a look around the whole green. This place is packed. There are people outside the fence watching. It's just phenomenal how popular Bowles is here. Oh, he's pushed the jack. Has he pushed it too close to Disco? Two. For Jacob. There's a punch of his hands. I'm not sure whether in his celebration or in a bit of frustration. I think he wouldn't wanted to sit on it. He needs to tuck it away. Simon Wood asking uh, what... Uh, oh, sorry, Jamie Dixon asking what's this Disco playing with. He's playing with Dreamline XG's, hence Alliance. And two still to Jacob Nelson. It, hence like being the preferred partner of... Uh, preferred supplier of bowls by... For Bowls Australian. They make great sets of bowls. And here comes Jacob with a with his third one. He is holding two still. He's given it uh, a beautiful amount of grass out there. A great paddock. And that will be three. This goes got one. One bowl to say something about this. Aaron Sheriff, 16-2 ahead. Patrick Cashin just saying uh, Queensland to win the State of Origin battle on the green. Seems that way at the yeah, moment. They're nearly there, but like all great contests, their oh. position's classy and they'll come back. You cannot run down the clock in singles. <laughs> Aaron Wilson running weight.
got rid of one. So still the opportunity for Jacob Nelson. He needs to just replicate that last bowl. Fisco will have no right of reply. That's it. The last bowl going down is probably the, the build-up. And if he gets three, then he's on his last. This is quite something. Aaron Sheriff has just scored two more. He's in the checkout zone himself. Oh, Jack kicked away two. So, this goes run of ends, ends. 19 play six. Jacob Nelson is two away from a remarkable victory. And when I say remarkable, I mean it with every single sense of that word. Not just because we thought Aaron Wilson was unbeatable, just the manner he's gone about it so far to be, I think it was 17 nil up. My God. He's been ruthless. He has been ruthless. The young Queenslander, 24 years old, within two shots of victory against the two-time defending Commonwealth Games champion for a berth in the Australian Open semi-finals. And look at that. And he comes, he comes to the head, puts his bowl down and says, beat that. Oh. <laughs> It's like uh, Aaron just got distracted by a little bit by someone moving behind the head, and I think it was Aaron Sheriff, actually. I'm sure he'll forgive him. And here comes Disco. Look at this. Magnificent bowl. Just the edge off Jacob there at the front and comes back and carries Jack back. Huge. But we know Jacob's uh, stand of the draw bowl right now is, uh, is at its peak. And he's got a good chance of just taking it back. There's room. Look at this. Here it comes. It's not going to stop in time, or is it? No, it looks like it's run. One blue one is the call from our ITO. He's, Aaron's bowls are a, a, a blue and blue duo. I'm not sure what the colours are particularly called there, there Dan, um, but I do know that they're size four. Some really good support coming through for Jacob here on the, yep. on the chat line. It's great to see. Jacob was out in the round of 256 in last year's Australian Open. This improvement already to get to a quarter is huge. A lot of space here on this in this head. It's not. It's probably the widest they've played so far. Aaron knocking uh, Jack away from uh, Jacob at the front contributed to that, of course. But he's gone back with his third. So a chance here for. Jacob to move move Jack back a little bit or just draw and push Aaron out for one. Well, if Jacob can put a second in here and get or get to at some stage, he can hold game and really heap the pressure on Aaron Wilson. And that's the thing. When you're within that checkout zone, you're going to be down game on a few occasions. Ben Fletcher, we know him. He's a superstar from Moama. And uh, Aaron Sheriff leading 18-2. And you can check the results portal, results.bowslink.com.au for any score you need, Ben. As Jacob, has he got it in the count? No. No. But options are plenty for him. Well, that's no, he is out of bowls. He's thought the, he might have. Yeah, won. the one at the no, front. No, yep, yeah, there was one in my way there through the tripod. Yeah, but... Here comes Aaron to make it a double. He's pretty close. Yeah, he's not far away, but I think it's going to power through. And it is. 
So it doesn't matter. That's all he needs. He just needs to keep scoring. 19-7 the lead to the young Queenslander, 24 years old. Bit of support around uh, for the fours games happening over there. There's so many people here that I can't even... No, I couldn't even attempt to see any scoreboards any further than uh, than the two singles games in front of us here. A round of applause as Aaron Sheriff moves through to the Australian Open semi-finals yet again. The best bowler in the world, I reckon, right now. Yeah, Jason, apologies. I was uh, I had a tripod in the way there, so I didn't quite see. I thought there might be one more, but no. Well, Joy Whelan saying the Sheriff's going to win the singles no matter who wins this. I'm going to politely disagree with that and say that the form shown by Jacob here will put the wind up anyone. And if it's uh, Aaron Wilson, then anything could happen. 19 to 7. That's the lead. Jacob needs two. Wilson needs 14. And with bowls like that, Disco will put the pressure on. That's it. Putting it down, same as Jacob did last in, just saying beat this. Jacob's bowl looks pretty good to there. It's hard to pick. What happens in the shadow? Oh, just a bit short, I'd suggest. Uh, people here fighting through the the rose garden in behind us. Oh, Aaron. Aaron Wilson. Well, well, well. So the winner of this to take on the winner of Matt Miles and Kobe Barton, both of whom we streamed yesterday in the pairs. Ah, uh, Lance, I'm not sure people are saying he's over the hill. They're just getting behind young Jacob to see it. It's a pleasure to watch a, a young bowler doing this well against it. A certified champion. And, uh, and he's just gone back as we keep harping on the, la the hardest shots in singles to get are the last ones. And so it seems here. That's the two um, most distant bowls I've seen Jacob put down all game. Aaron Wilson puts in a third. Jacob Nelson goes big. Good idea. Oh. Idea was good, just not the accuracy. So an opportunity for Disco to put in a fourth. Just two singles scored in this match so far. When one person's had control of the end... They have made sure of it. Let's go, yeah, this is going to count. This is going to count Aaron Wilson. But he doesn't want to move the jack. It's okay. But now that target's massive. There's a way in which Jacob Nelson could probably kill this here. Kill the head. Yeah, he doesn't have the T, so he's going to clear of, all of them out. Yeah, dispose of all of these bowls. If I'm, uh, if I'm playing this shot, I'm playing a draw to cut down. But he's nope, gone, intent there. He's gone big. Is this it? He's turned his back on it straight away, and he's missed. So that is a four to Aaron Wilson. <laughs> and just maybe, just maybe. And we keep talking about it. score is 19-11. This goes one four of the last five ends. He's changed the length to make it short. Jason M. Kelly. I've played more than one singles game over the years where the first shot was pretty hard to get to. 
but let alone the last. <laughs> the last one is always the bane of everyone's existence. And Jacob Nelson, he'll be thinking about it now, but... Bring this is... out wrong, but uh, his Disco found the first one hard to get in this game. He did, in fact, it took him... I think eight, it took him nine ends to get one. Oh, Jacob, he's not happy with that one either. So Aaron Wilson holding sway. Just that little bit of adrenaline as he knows he's there is giving a little bit more oomph. Hanging up right on the ditch. Scott Rainbow showing why he's a certified champion. Good fight back. And many would have given up by now. And you're right, a lot of people would, but not Aaron Wilson. Not when you've won the last two Commonwealth Games singles gold medals. And you're one of the favourites to win the World Championships gold medal. He's Jacob wheeling this around the corner. That's a better one. One blue one still. Aaron Wilson still holding shot there on the, with his wing bowl. So this has been a monstrous so far from Jacob Nelson. But what is equally as monstrous? Oh well. Is now Aaron Wilson is starting to find his rhythm. Jacob's going to remain on on his backhand here. slowed it down. He's just got to hope that it will come back. And I don't think it has. An opportunity for Disco to put in a third. Or does he cover the back? Because a trail and it's over. He's got to play the long game here. He can't think about getting these fours when the head looks like this. Or getting a three. I think he's got to put one back. Or tuck it away where the trail isn't an option. Nice steady bowl here. See how uh, slow it's moving by how much Disco's catching up with it just on an easy stroll down the green. Doesn't end up doing anything except blocking that hand a bit. I think Jacob. forehand here for... Oh, Jacob just called his own hand down his backhand. Oh, backhand. Same hand. Well, that'll work too. Yeah, he's, he's, he's put two pretty close yeah. there. He's got two or three back. He's just got to move Jack a little. So here it is. This is the best opportunity he's had. Jacob Nelson to finish this off. Opportunity here to win the match. Gone big. Who is... Oh, clobbered one of them out of the way. Got rid of one... And as I said before, since uh, since he hit 17, and had a bit of a bit of a smile and a half celebration, the adrenaline's up and he's starting to show some emotion. Played in good spirit this one. Any movement of the jack would have been it, but he's gone big. And now is it is it the man he's playing? Who knows. Five of the last six ends have gone the way of Aaron Wilson. Down 17-0. It's 19-12. And the first bowl that he's putting down has often given him the ascendancy. Yeah, start of there. Aaron Wilson, there's um, space for Jacob, and he's, if he can get back to the precision uh, drawing that he was doing before, should be all over this. So Aaron Wilson looking to get another one in. He watches it, side-eyes it. And tells that ball to work its magic. Jacob already standing on the mat. He was very quick then. 
not something uh, recommended by the coaches. I, I think they want to see a calm, considered approach. Just watching this go down, it's looks long again. Two to Wilson. Well, from a 17-shot deficit, it's a five-shot deficit now. Well, on a live score, still seven at the moment. Oh, good math, Ben. Sorry. <laughs> yep. Apologies. That's all right. Happens to the best of us. He's gone with bigger weight here as Jacob Nelson. Oh, Jack. Got the Jack, and now he's covering the tee. He's closer. This is one at least. Let's see what happens when the ITO puts the places the jack back on the tee and sticks up the paddles. Ooh, collecting bowls out of the ditch as well. He's had that proclivity to drive. One yellow. Aaron Wilson needs to wrestle this shot back. Yeah, jumped high in the air as the as the bowl approached Jack. Pretty excited at this point. One is okay for Aaron Wilson. He can concede that. He can't drop a two. He's gone with running weight. You know, it's stayed, he started it pretty close no, to the line. He's got this. Oh, he moved. I think he moved it away enough. I think he got enough on that, Aaron Wilson. Yeah, didn't blow it off the green like I think he wanted to. but uh, He didn't, but it's one blue. So now I think it's got to be a trail for Jacob Nelson to win. He's just got to push the jack anywhere near one of his two back bowls, and it's his. Here we go. Oh, that's Running weight. I think he's he trying to, to push Jack. And he's not far off. Has he got it? He's gone through the gap. You're kidding. Aaron Wilson survives again. That's one. 19-13. It's getting closer. He can hear the disco music I don't think, behind him. I don't think uh, Jacob played the percentage shot there. The draw was on. Oh, there was so much room. But to, to throw hard at a bear, Jack, look, he just missed. And he was going for the game. But, you know, one at a time, bit of patience. is what uh, everyone tells me about, uh, about singles all the time. And Aaron Wilson just dropping that one a little short. Yeah, look, there's a lot of comments coming in about, you know, why why he might not go for the draw. Obviously, this situation is a really difficult one and spur of the moment thing. Look, his blood's up. You know, yep. he's his not, adrenaline is racing. He's not, not confident on his draw anymore, which is a real shame. Wilson willing his bowl to, just wants it to hold a little. He thinks it's going to cross, and it has. It's funny, it's been a, the last few ends have seen a few, I've seen the trends of uh, Jacob going past the jack, and Disco getting jack high, a little bit past, but shorter. Mm. And there's that opportunity to trail, and what has Jacob Nelson got? He'll sit, and he will roll... Oh, one Too blue. far. Yeah, you saw the, see the uh, Z scoop of those arrows heading down. It's something that I was mentioned. It has been mentioned at BPL a few times. They when they lose the get off the running line, they don't roll naturally, and uh, they run and zigzag down the green as that one did. And sometimes Jack shoots off in odd directions. But Aaron Wilson, look at that, carried it back. But yeah, the ball was accurate, and it may not have run as far just on a normal 
with a normal grip. One to Disco. He was down 17-0 if you've just joined us. And there have a, there are a lot of people that have joined us since the start of this contest. Jacob Nelson has performed exceptionally well. But Aaron Wilson, the champion that he is, is not giving up. He has won six of the last seven ends after conceding the first nine. Wait. Jacob Nelson needs two. Very it's careful, a... considered bowl there. Now he's gritting his teeth, hoping it makes it. It looks like it's there to me. Is it going to crash into oh. Disco's? It is. Doesn't push Disco's up anymore. Jonathan David Hall. Joining us from Zimbabwe, and yes, it is 19.13, Lenny. We'll get that fixed for you. Yep, there we go. This go to put in a second. What can he do? Oh, he didn't want to crash, and he did. So, Jacob Nelson... This is what makes sport great. This yep. is why we watch the games. This is why we play the game. The tension, the drama, the stories that go along with it. Disco has certainly made him earn it. By no means is this over. I'm not sure what the go is. I think he's going to come on his backhand here. I guess it's believe it or not, it's a heavy, another heavy shot. Yep. Aaron Sheriff already through to the semis. He's gone with running weight here. Jacob Nelson, is this it? Hard to see it missing from there. He's got rid of... Oh, I'm not sure what has happened here. <laughs> Only <laughs> one. Grins from Disco at the back. He said one. Not a touch-up. Looking for chalk. So, two no, no, in that's... the ditch, not touches. And Aaron Wilson takes the mat and takes the jack. He scores one. Nope. Oh, tape's coming out. Oh. Disco knows it. But Jacob, I think, is absolutely desperate. Just, yeah, he wouldn't give away a shot. And maybe to slow slow the game down as well. Long arms. Yeah, confirmed. Oh, here we go. The margin is back to five. He can hear. Disco. Imagine, Getting closer. The margin hasn't been five since the second in they played. Sharon, exactly right. He's free to measure. And also, you know, just to slow the momentum of the game down, Disco's a very quick bowler on the mat. We know that. Greg Payne trying to win the game on one end, I think. Yeah, I think he is. I think that's that's a, what he's trying to do, get multiples every, on, on the end. And I'd like to see him just get one. And just, it's easier to get one than two. So this one is getting closer and closer. As the sun starts to descend here. Oh, he's hit Jack. Jacob Nelson. With it. That's a huge bolt. Now let's see him hold that. Defend it. Even if it even if he gets a one, it's something. Oh, Lee, I'm not sure what the biggest comeback would be. I'm 
I'm sure it's happened before, but this certainly would be close to a record as Disco comes over the top, but he's found a good home at the back there. Jacob, I don't actually think he's held game much. There might be one, one situation where he has. Oh, Disco look. has just flown out to control the ends that he's been there for in the fours game between or skipped by Alan Ryan and Kate Arjun-Bowden respectively. Ryan was up 7-2. Jacob uh, dropping another one in there is that pristine uh, draw bowling he had at the, you know, from when he was 17-0. Ryan was up 7-2 and now it's 7-5. Incredible. Wilson. Jack. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> This is so tense. You should see the people around there at Pack Three Dave. All of the uh yeah. all of the other bowlers are here watching this as well, sitting down on, along the bank to our right here. This is in all aspects the uh, an amazing game. Jacob, has he gone far enough? No. Disappointment on his face too. He's not impressed. He's still holding one. What a bizarre! Well, this is um, the kind of game stories are made of. Yep. We're talking about this one for a long time. Well, Aaron Wilson. Needs to get another one close here because the next opportunity would be for Jacob Nelson well, that's to win it. What's he got here, Disco? He likes it. Well, that's pretty aggressive. No, he likes it. He's got the gap. Oh, so, Mightily close. This is the last bowl. Jacob draws one in here. It's over. Oh, he's looking at, they're looking for mm -hmm. see if he's holding two now. I think he's got to play it. No, nah, he has to play he this. He can't risk a measure. He has to play this. This surely is only one. Dare I say it, barring catastrophe. Well, this is, it. this is his clearest opportunity here. This is his clearest opportunity. Jacob Nelson. He's sent his bowl down, and he's hunched in behind it. Following closely. He's holding one. Is he holding the game? He's chasing. He is chasing. Has he put enough on it? It's coming underneath, or is it going too far? We don't I think it's gone too far. I think it has gone too far, Sharon. Oh <laughs> he wants to measure. Sharon reckons it's one. We think it's one. <laughs> Does he have to wait a little longer? Oh, oh we continue. Oh God, it's still going. 20 to 14. <laughs> what a game of balls. Jacob Nelson. So close. Radhika Prasad was hoping for him to draw it. This has been an almighty contest. Disco will not let it slide. He's invested as anything. And from a game we thought was going to be finished in record time, the story continued. And Jacob on the precipice now of a famous victory. Well, now he needs one more. Disco before that had won seven of the last eight ends. Yeah, fair start by Jacob at the back. I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen. We're still leaning towards Jacob Nelson winning this, but you know, just because he was 17 nil up, but it's just getting better and better. Look at percentages. Look at this, Aaron Wilson. Disco. <laughs> There's six shots in it. The 
the percentage is still percentages would still be with uh, with young Jacob, but jeez, it's seventeen nil up to to be you know within six. The thing is now is Disco will have final bowl of this end, so yeah. it won't be in Jacob's control, which might make him a little bit more nervous. Wait there. Disco sending in another. Not doing much wrong, crossing the head a little bit. And sitting out there wide. Not in the count. Abraham, you are correct. Jacob Nelson, 17 nil up after eight ends. Jacob sent this one a little bit. Could pull up pretty well. I'm caught it early, but... Oh, that's a... Oh, a mighty effort. That's a really good ball in a really good spot now. He only needs one. Yep, he just needs to win an end. So Aaron Sheriff already through to the semis. We know that. Disco. Oh, probably just rattles yep. Jacob over there. Jacob's last bowl is going to have the... Have the say, but Disco's last ball will say whether he wins the game or not. Is the marker smiling? Marker will be enjoying this game as much as anyone. I can assure you, they're all fans of bowls as well as uh, being involved. We're all enjoying this game. It's had drama. It's had epic momentum swings. Jacob Nelson is perilously close to causing a huge upset. Just all, all on weight here, I think. Yep. No, nah, he's under. Oh, he's short. So, Disco, I'm not sure what he's going to want to do here. Is he going to... He's going to come back and have a look. Does he concede this end? Well, there's risk. It's, t it's a tough draw. Declare the end, sorry. He wouldn't concede because he's in front and holding. He's, he's thinking hard. Lead to Alan Ryan's team 9-5 over the team skipped by Kate Arjun Bowden. Aaron Wilson. <laughs> Sharon Kane, whoever said that uh, lawn bowls was a game for old people should be made to apologise damn right. Aaron Wilson. He doesn't want to move the jack. Oof. And he's come underneath. There's <laughs> heart in mouth for a sec. <laughs> and the crowd around is riding that bowl in. <laughs> wow, we. We go on. 20 to 15. It was 17 nil. This has been a pulsating contest. Oh no. Has he lost the jack? Disco's lost the jack, given control back to uh back oh, to Jacob. Oh my word. Just another twist. <laughs> Jacob has taken the mat right back. Just another twist in a in a tail of a game like I don't think I've ever seen. Jacob Nelson, he has taken that mat straight back. And for in a game I've never seen for so many reasons, the importance of this match as a quarter final. Semi final berth on the line. Jacob Nelson one shot in uh, one shot away from causing one of the big upsets of the tournament even though it's not a huge upset considering we know he can play this way. He's been magnificent. And Aaron Wilson has ensured that he has had to work for everything in the second half of this contest. And Disco, 
despite not having the mat length. At this point... He's put one in well. At this point, Aaron Wilson's getting some belief. He thinks he can win it. He knows that he can win it. Yeah. And uh, absolutely right, Jared. Uh, he does have the last bolt. Jacob Nelson. Jacob Nelson puts it on the jack. Rolls out a little bit. Target there for Wilson. What is he called? Disco Val? Um, no, I just think he's uh, back in his younger days. He was a fairly good dancer. <laughs> Not that he's old, but <laughs> yeah, so younger days. He's uh, it's only thirty years old. Teenage, uh, early twenties days. Here comes Aaron. Crossing. Aaron Wilson. Oh, he's got him. Oh, he's got it. That is monumental. He's got a smile on his face. He's having fun out there, Aaron Wilson. <laughs> he certainly wasn't to start with. He is now. Wow. And the reply from Jacob, it's not far away. Jacob Nelson. Touch. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's gone to the favour of Disco. <laughs> you are kidding. One blue. <laughs> he can't believe it. <laughs> this game. This game. They are feeling each other out. We know that Jacob is going to have last bowl. The last time he had last bowl was to get it to 20. But now when he has last bowl, any chance he gets is for the game. The scenes here at Club Helens Vale. The only things we can hear are the cars and the birds. Not one crowd member. Making a noise as Disco comes on the backhand. It doesn't look weighty enough to me at the moment. Uh, they're motoring back, though. He's going to crash yeah. into his own, and he flops it over. So now the question for Jacob is where does he go? Forehand yep. down. Spell the jack out. S certainly, I don't. Well, I can't see it. Look, he's lining it up, but I can't see his shot on that hand. All the percentages are on now uh, on his forehand at the moment. Movement of jack, roll, lift, he's up and over and roll, just go away a little bit. More than 4,000 people watching this game. Jacob Nelson, intent. what's he got? I think he's come under here. Has he? Is he going to collect? Oh. No, he's hit the ditch. Interesting. <laughs> Great time for the camera to do that to us. Yeah, that's right. God. <laughs> Oh, Disco sat there and had a good look. Yep. Jacob's still got one more. <laughs> Disco holding shot. <laughs> Jacob needs one. This match continues. Again, his forehand on the mat quickly and off it again. This is the shot I had expected Jacob to play. Aaron Wilson. He's starting to like it. It's gone past. All right, here we go. This is the opportunity now for Jacob Nelson to finish this contest off. He was 17-0 up after eight ends. Disco has since pegged that back to 15-20. Not one person is making any noise Apart from me. That's it. All, all eyes in this direction. Here we go. 
Jacob Nelson, it's on its way. With his backhand, strong. It is strong. He's watching. Is he going to collect anything? He's oh. hit his own out and Disco continues the match. <laughs> and we continue. We go again. Oh, wow. 20 plays, 16. Disco is within an end of, of catching. All of a sudden. He's within four. It hasn't been this close since the end of end one. And Disco's brought the man up, not as far as he has previously, and thrown it all the way to the tee again. Oh, careful here. He might lose it again. It's He's in the lost hole. it oh. again. That's two in a row. Who's our uh, Jack Counter? Colin Bray. Colin Bray. I hope he's watching. <laughs> he's lost two. Wow. This is an unreal contest of almighty magnitude. <laughs> yeah, we'll, as I said, we'll be telling stories about this one for years. This is phenomenal. Wendy Flockton, what fancy moves has Disco got left? He's got everything, really. There's Colin there. Ah, there he is. He's, got, he's here. Two Colin Bray. Yeah, he, what, there was no way he was, uh, he was missing this. So Disco, of course, will have first uh, first bowl. Even though he lost the uh, lost the jack, last bowl will go to Jacob Nelson. Yeah, Phil Butler saying anyone who hasn't played the bowls has no idea what goes into being able to understand it. It's not just wrong the bowls. Rain's been green. Yeah, look, you're not wrong. And as the day gets longer, this green should be slowing down. It hasn't really shown signs of it. We've had absolutely hardly a breath of wind today, and. Uh, but that's why we play outside, all that variability. That's what part of the game. And a great shot here by Jacob. Big, important bowl. Yep. Nice and close. He's got his weight straight away on the long end. Disco, we're all silently watching. It's hard to call it down at yep. the moment. Disco's got the shot there. Yep, that's one to... Aaron Wilson. Still room in there. It's a big target to clunk into something. Surprised this game isn't distracting the players on the other rings, actually. I see a few of them looking over this way just as they're waiting to, to bowl. Here comes Jacob. Oh, look at this. It's turning. Oh, Jacob hasn't Nelson quite hasn't quite got there. This is a... As pulsating as it gets, we do know the score of the, the Fours game. It's 9-6 in favour of Alan Ryan's team. That's all I can see at the moment. Over Kate Argent Bowden's squad. Disco wants it, wills it, pushes it for one. They might force him to change hands. We'll see. Yep, it has. He's gone into his forehand. Really nice delivery. It's easy to lose your weight in changing over. I don't know if he has or not. He's running after it, wheeling it he along. Is, he oh, is. he's pretty happy. He's close. That's that will do. So now he's asked the question of Aaron Wilson. Disco's got to nail it. And if he doesn't, it's over. Could this be the last bowl of the game? Uh, the way this game's going, <laughs> I'm going to say not in the skills that Disco has. Jacob Nelson can barely watch. I can barely watch. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> Disco, on the mat. Aaron Wilson, what's he got? He's tight. He's tight. He's got some speed on it, though. Oh, no. Oh, hang on. That's it. Shake hands. We do shake hands. And Jacob Nelson, after being 17-0 up, he has held on. And he takes the victory. A big sigh of relief for the young 24-year-old Queenslander. That is absolutely monstrous what he was able to do. 17-0 up.
And he got the job done, 21-16. Disco made him fight tooth and nail for it. But it's all over. And Jacob Nelson joins Aaron Sheriff in the Australian Open semifinals in 2023. Ben Crixolitis, what a match that was. Oh, Val, I'm ab- absolutely spent. Just spent. I can't believe that um, what we've just seen. 17-0 up and uh, just to clean it out at the end after a massive comeback from Disco. Obviously showing all his class for Jacob. Well done, young man. It was unbelievable, and it's got to be one of the highlights of the week, I think, that game, Ben. Absolutely. If you want to point anyone uh, in the direction of what Australian Open bowls can be, this is the game to point them to. The replay will be up, uh, obviously, on Facebook. Yeah, have another look. Yeah, we can certainly will try and get him on and have a quick chat to him and see what he has to say. Uh, but that was... That was honestly, stay tuned because we'll try and get the uh, the Victor Jacob Nelson on for a quick chat here on Ringside Live and uh, see if he can come over and talk about that victory and how he uh, how he managed to fight Disco off because it certainly was uh, it certainly was one that he was uh, he was hoping he could hold on to and he's going to make his way over. So he's, um... yeah, we'll uh, we'll get him to. Hold the mic here and chuck some uh, chuck some headphones on. Here he is. He does join us, Jacob Nelson. <laughs> Congratulations, mate. How are the nerves right now? Because obviously, uh, Disco made you fight back from. Uh, for, he was seventeen nil down, but you ended up getting it done. So how how is the heart rate? The heart rate is through the roof. I actually said to the marker at the end, I was like, I don't have a stroke here. There's probably <laughs> something medically wrong with me because my heart was beating that fast. Um, yeah, no, he's a quality player. I was lucky to get out to that fast start. And at the end there, I, the last shot's are always hardest to get. And I, I went close a few times. I just couldn't hold it. And oh, yeah, mate, a yeah, player we, of that quality always comes back at you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We're saying the same thing. And at 17-0, we saw you walk to, up to the other end and uh, speak to someone on the bench. And it's the first time I think I saw a break in that laser-like focus you had. Do you think it's just your adrenaline jumped and you... Cause uh, possibly. I, did, I went up to my brother because he's kind of my... He's my guy, you mm. know, like he, he gives me all the support I need. And I said to him, I've never been so nervous up 70 nil in my life. <laughs> I was like, I just, just, and he was like, just hang in there, keep working hard. And it just got really hard, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> we, we hey, got there eventually. And one final one before we let you go, you move through to the semifinals. I think this is your first men's single semifinal, Jacob. Yeah. And, you know, how excited are you considering it was round of 256 last year. You've moved into the final four this year. You know, how, much, how good is this for your confidence, especially after what you did at the multi-nations, winning two medals? Yeah, it's, um, it's super exciting. I, um, I actually made it to the final eight two years ago, and Disco beat me then. Um, well, you got the one same, up now. By the same scoreline. So um, maybe not quite the same comeback, but the same scoreline. <laughs> so it's really exciting to get back to this part and then get one step further. It's always been a goal of mine. Um, I'm hoping to crack back into the Queensland men's side. I've been let go of late, so I... I got a bit of extra determination to put my best foot forward and you know try and crack back into that side. It's a quality side, but I'd like to get back there. So hopefully this is a step in the right direction and I can keep it going. Hopefully, Fingers certainly, crossed. Jacob Nelson. Thank you very much for joining us on Ringside Life. Congratulations, a brilliant win by you. That's it for us here today. And uh, Ben Crixtolitis, thank you for joining me. That was a sensational contest to finish day twelve on. Oh, magic! Absolutely magic. Like I said, we'll be telling the story for years, and uh, can't wait to get back tomorrow for some more. Now, Ben, you'll be with us over the next couple of days for the finals, which uh, will be revealed on social media tonight. But I won't be here for the proper ringside live games. I'll be doing the secondary uh, rink, which showcases some of the other finals on Green 1 at Broadbeach. So on behalf of uh, myself, I'd really like to thank you, Kyle Langley, Nick Hind, and uh, Chris Wallace, Paul Hoshke, Andrew Howie, all the people that we've had on uh, so far over Ringside Live. Looking forward to hearing what you guys do over the next couple of days and a massive thank you to Lachlan Williams who has been magnificent over the fortnight. So I'm looking forward to finishing off these last two days on the secondary rink which you can still see on Facebook over the next couple of days but I won't be able to engage with all of you wonderful listeners um, as I have been. So thank you to everybody that's tuned in. It's been an absolute pleasure. Congratulations to Jacob Nelson and I'm looking forward to the next couple of days at the Australian Open. Um, and we will bring you a quick, uh, a quick score update here. Matt Miles is uh, also through to the semifinals. He's knocked off Kobe Barton. So that's a... And...
Pitts is up 20 to 15 over Ray Pierce, so that could be your semi final right there. So, plenty more of action, st- plenty more action still to come at the 2023 Australian Open. Big thank you to Ben Crix, the lightest. Well done. Thanks, Val. Well done. Thank you to APA and thank you to Australia's Gold Coast and Tourism and Events Queensland. Big two days of action still to come at the AO. We'll see you then.